share this video with someone who needs to stay hydrated. Why is everyone seeming to become dumber? Turns out, the water that we drink might have something to do with it. Welcome everyone to another video of Mortal Medicine. My name is Kiran Bullock, and today we will talk about fluoride being added to our drinking water, specifically sodium fluoride. This molecule has effects on your brain that we might not be too happy with. Watch till the end of the video on tips of how to get cleaner water. Fluoride is added to almost all tap waters in the developed world. In my country, the Netherlands, we have a concentration of 0.3 milligrams per liter of water. The reason is to prevent dental caries. But as a side effect, fluoride influences our brain in a harmful way. And here are the studies to prove it. Before we dive into the studies, check out my video on microplastic, link in the description. So why fluoride? Does it prevent any caries? Well, in a 2015 study on clean teeth, fluoride was compared to green tea, chlorhexidine and probiotics as a teeth cleaning measure. What they found was that the bacteria killer chlorhexidine was the most effective at cleaning out all the bacteria in your mouth, which is one of the reasons why your teeth decay. So, fluoride wasn't even shown to be any better than a normal bacterial killer. In another double-blind study done in Greece, they didn't find any differences between groups who were using fluoride in their teeth cleaning programs and in the group which were just using normal toothpaste without fluoride. So for tooth decay, the jury is still out, but it doesn't show to be very promising. But these are the studies documented for the effects on your brain. On June the 8th, 2021, children's IQs were tested from the years of 4 to 12 years old. And then their IQs were correlated with the fluoride in the urine of the mother. And what they found was shocking. The more fluoride the mother had in her body, the more IQ points were lost. Here you can see the graph. The higher the fluoride concentration in the urine of the mother, the more IQ points are lost, with 1.5 milligrams per liter of fluoride causing a 5 point drop in IQ. So with only 0.2 milligrams of fluoride in your blood, there is already an IQ point reduction, which is insane. This doesn't mean much on itself because you know how much fluoride is there in the water but in the country where I live the Netherlands there is up to 0.25 milligrams of fluoride per liter of water in the United States it can get even as high as 1.2 milligrams per liter now this is insane if you drink two liters of water per day which is on the low side you would have almost 2.5 milligrams of fluoride in your body and every day only around 0.6 milligrams of fluoride gets excreted and cleared out by your kidneys. That means that there is a buildup of 1.5 milligrams of fluoride every day. And this is a disaster for the developing brain of a child. Now if fetuses get lower IQ from these relatively small concentrations from their mother, Imagine what effect it has on your brain. Leave in the comments how high your fluoride concentration is in your country. Still not convinced? In a meta-analysis of Chinese data of almost 20 years, children in a high fluorosis area were compared to children who were living in areas where there was low fluoride in the water. And what they found was that children in the area with the high fluorosis had a five time higher chance of developing a low IQ. Now imagine you start a family and your children drink the water which you think is good but in the end makes your children part of the movie Idiocracy. Well that's all well and fine but what happens exactly in the brain? In an animal study published in 2019 by Alzheimer's Research and Therapy Journal showed that rats treated with low doses of fluoride had more signs of senile plaques forming in the brain and reduce the amount of Adam-10, which is a gene responsible for cleaning up the plaques. So these brain plaques, what they do is they cause neurological damage. And if you have a lot of plaques in the course of your living years, you get Alzheimer's disease. Now look at this man, Biden. Do you want to be like him? He probably drinks a lot of fluoride. So even low doses 
can worsen the deficit in learning in rats. Not only learning, but also memory and brain power. In conclusion, being exposed to fluoride on a daily basis is detrimental to your health in the long run. For a pregnant woman, it can mean a less intelligent child. For adults, it means a higher chance of developing Alzheimer's disease and difficulty with learning. So, why would you drink it if it doesn't really help against tooth decay, but basically damages your brain? The question remains, how do you decrease your exposure to fluoride? The answer, a water filter. With the water filter in the affiliate link in the description, you can ensure clean drinking water without fluoride or any other heavy metals that can damage you. This way, you know your water is safe. If you are traveling, there is also a traveling option in the same link. So you can take your water filter with you for clean water during traveling. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you for watching. Check out my video on microplastics to learn more about clean drinking water. Remember to subscribe.